In this video, we will be looking at one of my favourite pond creatures, the raft spider, including where it lives, how to identify them, what they prey on, and I'll finish up by giving you some information on where you can see them for yourself. There are a number of spiders that can be found running around the margins and surface of a pond. Many wolf spiders can be found near ponds, and some can even run on the surface. But there are a few species in the genus Pyrata, known as the otter spiders, that are very much creatures of fresh water and the nearby marshy areas, living in tube webs at the edge of the water and hunting out on the surface. Females even carry their eggs and newly hatched young around with them as they walk across the surface, as this pirate otter spider is doing here. They are reasonably big, with a 9mm long body, but are dwarfed by the subject of this video, the raft spiders. There are two species of raft spider in the UK, the bog raft spider, Dolomedes fimbratus, and the fen raft spider. Dolomedes plantarius, and this species is often credited as being the biggest species of spider in the UK, though contrary to some recent headlines, they are not the size of rats, with a maximum body length of 22mm and a leg span of up to 70mm across. They are members of the nursery web spider family, with the third and final UK species in the family, unsurprisingly, being the nursery web spider. They are called the nursery web spiders because the only time they build a web is as a nursery for their newly hatched young as this nursery web spider has done here. The large size of adult raft spiders distinguishes them from any other spider likely to be found in their habitat. Both species usually have a pair of bold white stripes along the upper side of their body, and the abdomen is slightly pointed in shape, unlike the rounded abdomen of the similar coloured pirate otter spiders, which could be confused with a juvenile raft spider. But some raft spiders, especially the fen raft spiders, can lack the stripes entirely, like this one here. The two species are impossible to tell apart in the field, so identification is often determined by habitat and location. The bog raft spider is found in acidic pools, ponds and wet heathland in the Dorset, Surrey and New Forest heaths, and a few other scattered sites in England and Wales, and wet woodland and sphagnum bogs in northern England and Scotland. The fen raft spider is a species of more alkaline habitats, found on certain fenland pools and drainage ditches. It is rare and protected under the Wildlife and Countryside Act, and at one point was heading for extinction due to loss of habitat. It was only found at one site in Sussex, one in Wales, and one in Suffolk. But thanks to efforts to save the remaining habitats and create new ones, combined with captive breeding and relocation efforts, it is now found on three new sites in Suffolk and Norfolk, where it is thriving, but the species is still vulnerable. The legs and body of raft spiders are covered in hydrophobic or water repellent hairs, which enable them to sit on the water without sinking, even when upside down. If threatened, they can crawl under the surface down submerged plants and stems, and the hydrophobic hairs trap a bubble of air over their body and legs, enabling them to breathe underwater and stay there until it is safe to return to the surface. They feed on other creatures that live on the surface, such as pond skaters, and typically sit at the edge of the water and wait for prey to pass, sensing them by the vibrations and ripples the prey makes as it moves around, and pouncing when it comes close enough. Prey can also include insects that fall into the water, or come down to get a drink, as this poor bee found out the hard way. Other spiders are also on the menu, including others of their species. The fen raft spider is known to even take small fish, though it does this rarely, usually when water levels have become low and the water warm, forcing the fish to hang near the surface. Mating takes place in May, June and July, when males will follow pheromones and sink lines to find the females. When he gets close enough to one, he starts moving his body up and down to produce ripples in the water in an effort to court the female. But each female can attract multiple males, who will fight over her. Unfortunately for these males, this female already has eggs, so is not interested in either of them. This female has already spun a small web into which she laid her eggs and created the egg cocoon, which you can see her holding under her body, which she does so using her fangs. She spends much of her time holding the egg cocoon in the sun to keep it warm and speed up development, but if it becomes too hot, she will also dip it into the water to cool it down. As she is holding it in her fangs, she cannot eat while she is carrying the egg cocoon. When the eggs are close to hatching, she spins the nursery web and places the cocoon in the centre, guarding it and the spiderlings after they hatch. 
The spiderlings stay together for a few days in a tight ball with the female guiding them until they disperse. She may lay two or three patches in that summer, but by the end of September, the toil of laying eggs and not eating while carrying the egg cocoons takes its toll and the females die, joining the males that will have died earlier in the summer. The spiderlings will initially stay away from the water itself and hang around in the marginal vegetation, and the bog grass spiders may wander even further away into dry habitats. The young spiders will then grow, usually taking two or three years to reach maturity, when they will become one of the pond's top predators. If you want to go see raft spiders, these are some of the top sites where I have seen them. For bog raft spiders, I have seen them at RSPB Arn in Dorset, Thursday Common in Surrey, and I've also seen them in RSPB Lock Garden in the Cangorns. For fen raft spiders, your best bet is to go to Suffolk Wildlife Trust Carlton Marshes. And I've also heard they've been seen a lot this year at RSVB Strumpshaw Fen on the Norfolk Broads. You can see raft spiders on warmer days in any month of the year, but they tend to hide away most of the time in winter, and are easiest to see in the breeding season from May to July, when the males are more obvious as they actively search for females. Another tip is to look for nursery webs, which can be spotted relatively easily, at least compared to the spiders themselves, which are built on vegetation over and next to the water from June to September. Do let me know if you managed to see one, or if you've already enjoyed seeing these fabulous arachnids already. Thanks for watching.